Uh, welcome to my tutorial on how to solve a 5x5x5 five by five by five, uh, Rubik's Professor Cube. Uh, today I'll be showing the first part of the tutorial on how to solve uh, the sinners. And it's pretty simple. It doesn't take very long at all if you just follow this method I'm going to show you. Alright, let's get started. Uh, the first thing you want to do is make strips. We're going to start with the white. We'll start with the white right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to make three vertical strips for each center and I'll show you how to do that. As you can see I have the white strip already formed and we're gonna make two adjacent vertical white strips beside this one that's already made. Alright so now what we want to do is we want to look for those other uh, white pieces. So here's one right here and here's one right here and here's one right here. So all three of them are right near each other. So what we're going to do is we're just going to line them up. And then this part's logic. You're going to turn this face over here. You're going to turn this face down. Turn it over. And then these two are lined up. Now this centerpiece right here, to get it to go right here, all you're going to do is you're just going to rotate this face and make the little bar. So now we have a second white vertical bar and I'm going to put it up on the top of the other one. Now all we have left to do is make one more white white vertical bar. So you're going to look for the three pieces that are remaining one, two, three, and you're just going to line it up. Since these two are already lined up, all I need to do is rotate this piece up and simply flip it around to line up if you don't understand what I'm doing here, this part's all logic. There are no algorithms for this. So you'll have to kind of work with it your own way and figure it out. All right. So now that we all have all three white strips, you're going to have a problem. When you put it up, You can right now you can just put it up here. I'll, I'll explain that later. So now we have all three white strips. Now, it's very important you solve the first two center, centers in a certain order. You have to solve the white center first and the yellow center second. It's very important that you solve the top and bottom centers first. All right, now I'm going to show you how to solve the uh, yellow center without messing up the white center. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and make a vertical bar. You can see how the center is already there, so we just need to place these two. Now this is very, very simple. You're going to look for two center pieces. Here's one right here. And all we need to do is move it up here. So it looks as easy as it sounds. You move it up, you rotate the piece out of the way so we can move the white back down. You just bring it back down like that. So now we have two uh, of the three bars. We're gonna need to look for the other center piece. And look, here it is right here. It's right there. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, rotate this center piece up to the top like so. And now this white's up here. We're going to rotate it out of the way and rotate the white back down, down. Now you have your middle yellow vertical strip and your white center is still completely intact all the way without it being messed up. Now, the way to solve the other two adjacent yellow uh, bars is the exact same way of solving the white. You look for all three pieces. So here's one, and here's one. So I'm going to put these two together. And they match up. So now we need to look for a third one. Here's a third one right here. So I'll turn it over. And I'll match it up. Very simple. As you can see, the white center is still intact. Now I'm going to line this up. This is where it gets kind of confusing. You see, if you just turn it up, you can't move this anymore because the white square is in the way. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to uh, move it up, rotate it, and move the cube back down so the white doesn't get messed up. Alright, so now we've got to solve the last yellow bar. So you're going to pair up the pieces like we've been doing. If you still don't understand this step, I, I pray for you. You need, to, you need to figure out some logic here. Alright. So now, this is kind of where it gets a little 
crazy. If I just simply move this yellow up to finish the yellow, now the white's displaced. So what are we going to do? You're going to move it over to where the yellow, this outer yellow bar is lined up with this yellow bar. And you're simply going to move it up, rotate this front or the top base 180 degrees clockwise, and then you're going to move the faces back down. Now the yellow and the white centers are complete. Now I'm going to show you how to solve the next two centers. Now, now you're going to always hold your cube this way to where the bottom and the top are on the side, on the side of the cube now. So you're always going to hold it this way. You're, all, you're only going to be working with this part of the cube as a whole. All right, so I always solve the blue center next. Now what we're going to do is we're going to continue to make these vertical bars. So all you're going to do is look for a blue center piece, and it happens to be right there. You're going to turn it to where it'll correspond and line up. And you're, all you're going to do is you're just going to bring this blue piece up to there. Now you have your blue center vertical bar. It's important to always solve the center bars first. Next, you're going to solve the adjacent two, like we've done with the other parts. You're going to look for the three pieces. And here's the center piece. For this, I want to work on this one right here. Here's the center piece. Now, what I'm going to do is... I'm just going to bring it up. Now I have two of the three. As you notice, this blue is still intact. I'm going to rotate this blue piece over. Now rotate it up in order to finish this one. So now I have two blue bars. I'm going to rotate this back over. Now we only need one more. So you want to look for it. Here they all three are. So this is where it gets a little tricky if they're on the same face. Well, all you're going to do is you're just going to rotate this up and over to where it's this way. You're going to rotate this face up to where when you move this cube up, it'll finish that bar. You also want to make sure that this, the one that's not finished is on, is on this part right here. So you're going to bring it up. You're going to bring it over, and we're going to do that little trick I showed you. You're going to replace the blue one, rotate it, and bring it back down. All right, so now we're going to work on the orange center without messing up the blue centers. Now you have three centers done. That's where it starts getting tricky. you got to be careful. We're going to do the same way. We're going to solve the orange middle bar. You find a middle piece. You whip it around, but you bring it up. Now you notice the blue piece is out. So you're going to rotate this piece out of the way and bring the blue back to its place. As you notice, all the centers are starting to line up now. It's starting to look really nice. And so the next what we're going to do is we're going to solve the two outer ones just like before. As you notice, uh, there's one that's actually already solved for us. So I'm just going to bring it all the way up and around, rotate it out of the way, and bring the blue back down. Now I have all but one bar left. So here are the two, and here's the center piece. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna line it up to where the center goes right in the between and nicely pairs it up. I'm gonna rotate it up, rotate it out of the way, and rotate the blue back down to its spot. Now we have it nicely paired where we can finish this orange. So what you're going to do is the little trick I taught you a, few, a long time ago. You're going to rotate, replace that orange, rotate the face 180 degrees clockwise, and bring it back down to finish the orange. Now you have the blue, the orange, the yellow, and the white completed. If you don't have all four of those completed, you might want to go back and watch uh, other parts of this tutorial. The second part of this tutorial, I'll be explaining how to solve the last two centers.